Welcome back, my name is Dr. Dean and I'm here with my friend Brandon, master's swimmer. Um, and so today we're gonna to be talking about drill step number three, which is the squat. So the squat is basically core neutral, but even lower, right? So this would be for sports that are, are quite close to the ground. Um, you could say like a, a, a catcher in baseball or possibly softball, uh, football being on the line. In my example, it's gonna be uh, returning a serve, right? So there are a bunch of sports that are pretty low. Now, even for example, in a, a dive, right? There's a, there's a point where you're kind of like a version of a squat. So it isn't that the squat is something specific in this, you know, that you're gonna be like my, you know, my sport, well, you could be like an overhead lift, mm -hmm. right? So there is a component specifically of the squat, but a squat is also something that you go from one movement pattern through the squat into something else, right? So that's kind of what we're talking about. Okay, so we're talking about the setup, which is the plan of plan and map, and then there's the execution, which is the map of plan and map. Well, first we're gonna talk about the setup. Again, you've already heard this a couple of times, we're just gonna review. So we're looking to engage the inner unit, which is that respiratory apparatus, or sort of that fluid ball in the center of the body. We're gonna engage the outer unit, which is the myofascial slings, or where we actually see movement happening. And then we're going to engage spinal stability, which of course is spinal mobility. And then we're concerned with the forces of the body, the torsion, load, and shear that are happening at the joints. And we have a really great YouTube on that. And then also we're concerned with um, acceleration, deceleration, you know, all, all those things, accepting, transmitting, and producing forces, right? So this is, it's less about just like producing something when you're moving, but it's also all these other elements that get missed, right? In what we call like core neutrality, or I don't know, you could call it if efficient sports function, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so we're gonna talk about um, the execution part now, which is the map or the doing part of plan and map. And so we're talking about the consciousness, making sure everything's coming from the memory, right? The good stuff that you know is gonna make it work, but also sometimes when we're out there on the field or in the pool or in the court, and there's some novelty to that specific, right? Like let's say, in your example, let's say you're swimming and you just take a little peek, right? And you see someone's gaining on you, right? then you're gonna change your strategy, right? Okay. Uh, proximal to distal, which we've already discussed, quality and consistency of movement, and then specificity that happens to be for your specific sport. And then of course, as I'm uh, watching you, sort of as your trainer, your coach, your therapist, whatever, I'm looking for continuing to, to reset you in the correct position over and over and over and over until you hit fatigue, right? So we talk about failure, which is breakdown in the shape, the desired shape, and fatigue is like basically running out of gas, right? So we would never just drill step you 10 times or right. 50 times, right? Okay, so let's see the squat. Okay, so first come to core neutral, go. Yeah, okay, so he's about 120 degrees at the hips and knees and the elbows, classic, classic core neutral. And now he's gonna drop down a little bit lower. And so one of my favorite things to do with the squat is just kind of press your arms back through and then just keep going, Brandon. And then the strap is kind of gonna go through that hip crease there and push your knees apart. Good, and then draw up your belly in and through, right? So we're making sure that lumbar spine is not going into extension. We'll show you from the side, right? So that's basically the squat. You could even go a little lower, hips could be yeah, but just remember the lower you go, the more you have to pay attention to, the, to your body weight distribution forward and back, right and left, right? As far as making sure your heels are down, right? And you can feel pretty much all of your foot. You don't wanna be in the front of your foot. And then, you know, some people even say in that super low squat, you should almost be able to peel your toes off the floor, which is like, yikes, right? Okay, and then back to core neutral from the squat. Sorry. Yeah. And then relax. Good. So make sure that there's a perfect example. Make sure that you always exit and from any of the drill steps or the drill step patterns into core neutral, even if it's like almost impossible, mm. right? You're just like pouring sweat. You're totally exhausted and there's nothing left. You remember if you were on a field playing soccer and you just ran down the whole field and you're exhausted, you still need to be able to kick, make your goal and land in core neutral. You don't want to 
set up and kick and you don't land in core neutral and your knee buckles and then you're out for the rest of the game. Right, so always exit movement patterns in core neutral. All right, so let's, uh, let's just drill a few so you can see what it looks like. And then can you do it from the side? So just can sure. you point that way? Point this way? Yeah. Okay, uh, core neutral, go. Good, so you'll notice he's at like that eight, you're a little low. Let's come back here, good. Yeah, so you look at that nice lumbar spine there. He has his knees pulled apart. His gaze is forward. We call that athletic gaze forward because unless your sport is on the floor or on the ground, there's nothing interesting down there. So you should be t training, looking across the pool or looking across the field or down the track or whatever it is. Good, okay, and then he's gonna come into the squat and then Brandon, I'm gonna have you fan your Hands back to the rear, go. So that's nice, good. And you can just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, there you go, good. Open up your hands and press back like you're pushing on the back wall. Now notice his arm has gone to 180 and I still want him at 120. Yeah, even when he's pressing back, right? And then the elbows are gonna <clears throat> rotate slightly in. That's gonna open up his chest, good. And then snap back to neutral, go. So you're gonna come back up, 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 right about there, good. And then squat, go. Good, and then neutral and squat. Neutral, squat, neutral, hold. Now, Brandon, we're gonna do the example of acceleration into deceleration, okay? So this is where you're gonna to start to get him to move with that quickness, with that suddenness, with that fastness, right? Like a blur, go. Good, and then you'll notice you lost a little bit of that ideal 120 because we added quickness. That's where injuries happen, right? when you have to start to move quick, and then the, that, the conscious or the memory or the, what you need to do starts to drift away. Back to neutral, good. And come up a little higher, yep, right there, good. And squat, double block, good, better, good. Neutral, and then one more time, Brandon, a hold, like a blur, go. Nice, and back to core neutral. Yeah, so notice how he made a slight modification there when he came back up to his neutral and relax. Good, take a break. Okay, so a couple of examples would be being at the line, like, so my friend Benzel was gonna <laughs> show me how to do this, he hasn't shown me yet. So, you know, if I don't do this right, it's hard. But what I'm just trying to show you is that in this position, you're quite low, Right, but you'll notice that I still have full control over my upper body, right? I'm not rounded like this, and that brings the gaze down. So automatically we say, uh, gaze down, back goes round, right? And then if I look up, then I get that nice stability here in the glutes, right? So I spent about 12 years gardening like landscape contractor and I spent 12 years just like this like everything I did was like here so I was basically in that super beautiful squat you know all for 12 years right okay so a couple other examples would be again tennis which is my thing which is getting ready to return a serve right so you know we talked about this being core neutral mm -hmm. but it could be I might feel a little more comfortable somewhere else in here. So Brandon, we're not saying the squat is one specific height, right? Right. Performed a specific way. It's, it's happening through the transition of movement, right? Um, and then, so there, uh, there are plenty of examples. Um, oh, we also talked about baseball, right? And we talked about um, the catcher. Right, so don't pick on me. This is a softball glove, <laughs> right? So there's that, you know, right? That's, that's a squat, Yeah. right? That's the, that part. But all of this in through here has to be known by the athlete. This is all versions of that same squat, right? And my knees have to be pushed apart. Even when I'm over here, I can't collapse this knee down. It's got to stay out here. That's how I have, if I come here, that's how I have my elastic return, right? Okay, great. So a um, couple of, come on back in, a couple of good examples of the squat. And so stay tuned. 
We're going to move on to the next CARP system drill step example. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Dean and Brandon. Now we're going to look at the squat. The squat comes from the core neutral position, and it's a lowered core neutral. So it's down, keeping the chest up. It's down, keeping the chest up. So I want you to see this from side. Relaxed, neutral, looking for that 120. Now, there isn't a rule about how low this, so the squat should be. It depends on what sport you're training for or if you're training for a specific therapy. But I want you to notice that I'm sitting down and back and I'm maintaining the same lean, right? So it's not, as I go down, the, the lean is not changing, right? So as I drop down from core neutral, I'm gonna drop, right? And I'm gonna get, like for me functionally, this is a really comfortable position. From here, I can fan the hands back and then you wanna make sure that it's 120 degrees. From here, I'm gonna keep my inner unit contracted and I'm just gonna pulse. Now I want you to notice again that it's almost imperceptibly small and I'm gonna pulse my hands back, but notice I'm not straightening my arms as I pulse, 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 and then I wanna make sure that my belly stays contracted to support my lower spine. And honestly, if I had to do five more of these, I think I might die. <laughs> and back to neutral. And squat, so I like to also do the squat as a, as a push press. Let me just reset this. And I like this because it creates a little bit of, I'm gonna use the basketball. This is actually um, a weighted basketball, so it weighs about three, four pounds. So from the neutral position, right, just checking my quality, make sure I'm in the middle. I'm gonna squat, press, and I'm gonna bring it back in, come back to neutral squat, and then again, we can do variation from neutral. So notice, now I've incorporated a little bit of rotation. So remember these drill steps don't exist in complete isolation. And then also from neutral, I can squat and I can just tap here, come back to neutral and release. And then another one of my favorite ones that I use on a lot of my exercise videos is stir the pot. So it starts like this, interlock the fingers start to turn, drop the shoulders, and from core neutral, start to lower down like this. Now notice I'm maintaining tension on the straps, and now I'm gonna gently start to rotate to the side while I maintain the squat. Now this is a lot of work, and in the, in the class, we do about 50 of these. I mean, 50 stir the pots, not 50 squats. <laughs> yeah. And then back to the center. And then I'm gonna, from here, come into neutral. Now my legs are on fire, right? And so just for fun, I'm gonna snack back down, back to neutral, squat. Neutral, squat, neutral, one more. Squat, neutral, and relax. Hope you like those.